Hi, I'm Craig Walker with Rapido Trains, and as you've selected to view a video entitled something to do with Santa Fe Mechanical Reefers, it should come as no surprise that today we're going to talk about Santa Fe Mechanical Reefers. Rapido Trains is extremely pleased to be able to offer for the first time ever an extremely high quality plastic model of the Santa Fe Mechanical Reefers from the 50s and 60s and 70s. The RR56, RR60, RR61 cars. The Santa Fe Railroad in the 1950s had already developed several different mechanical refrigerator cars and in 1955 the latest one they developed was classed RR56. A few years later, in 1958, Santa Fe constructed two more classes of mechanical refrigerator cars, the RR60 and the RR61. These cars had some improvements internally, but externally they were identical to the RR56, and that's a lucky break for Rapido and for you modelers because we can offer models of the RR56, RR60, and RR61 without having to modify the tooling. So uh, that's a win-win for everybody. In the 1950s, Santa Fe took advantage of their freight car fleets that traveled from coast to coast, and they adorned them on one side of the car with slogans advertising their fantastic array of passenger trains, such as the Chief, the Super Chief, the San Francisco Chief, the Texas Chief, and not a Chief, the El Capitan. And the other side had a ship and travel Santa Fe all the way slogan on them. In 1959, Santa Fe adopted a new paint scheme without slogans, and it featured a nine foot diameter circle cross logo with Santa Fe across the middle to the left of the door. And to the right of the door was a redesigned ship and travel Santa Fe all the way slogan. Once they had expired in refrigerator car service, many, many of them had the refrigeration units and fuel tanks removed and were converted into insulated boxcars, basically a plug door boxcar. These cars lasted for quite a while in, in that service, uh, into the 80s, I believe. Also, some of the cars ended up in maintenance away service. Um, if I'm not mistaken, some retained their refrigeration unit. Uh, others did not, they were used as tool cars. We're excited to have this car available. We hope you're as excited as we are, because otherwise we're wasting our time making it. And for more information on the model itself, we're now going to hear from Matt Gentry and find out about what a cool model it is. So, Matt? You've got mail. What? Email from Jason. Matt, have you recorded the RR56 overview video yet? You've got mail. Email from Craig. Have you recorded the RR56 overview video yet? No, I haven't. They want me to do a reefer video overview in December. They know I don't do cold. <sighs> okay. Hi everybody, this is Rapido Matt, and today we're going to go over the first injection samples of the RR56 Santa Fe reefer. Okay, so here it is. Along the sides, we see the panel lines representing the rivet seams of each body panel used to construct the prototype car. And keep in mind, this is an early sample, so the rivet detail has not been added yet. We see the different details along the side of the car, including separately applied grab at the end of the door. We see the plug door and the locking mechanism, which is a separately applied part. Continuing further down the car, we see the separately applied body ladder and the separately applied photo etch grill for the air intake of the diesel reefer unit. If we tilt the car up, let some light shine in there, you can actually see that we have molded and installed a little diesel reefer unit. Coming along the top of the car, we have the roof hatch for airflow for the diesel reefer unit. The roof hatch can be open or closed and you see the brass photo etch for the vent underneath it. And then we have the correct formed roof panels and the separately applied stainless photo etch roof wall. Again, this is an early sample. We're testing the fit of the roof walk and we're working out 
details with the factory to make sure that this does not have the deformation when you receive your models. Looking at the B end of the car, we see the separately applied brake wheel and mechanism, separately applied brake platform, separately applied ladder, separately applied brake rods, tack board, and the separately applied grabs at the bottom of the ladder and coupler cut bar. If we come around to the A end of the car, we see all the same fine detail, except without the brake wheel, of course. In this side, you can see a good view of the train line. Flipping around to the other side of the car, we see the photo etch grill, which is actually in a sliding panel on the prototype that accesses the diesel reefer unit. The panel does not slide on our car. But then also, if we look at the side here, this is the side that has the mechanical temperature control. So this panel here on the prototype shows all of the uh, inside temperatures and what the thermostat is set to and that type of information so the diesel reefer unit will kick on and kick off. If we go to the bottom of the car, which hopefully you don't see this on your layout, but if you do simulate accidents, you can see the bottom of the car. All the separately applied detail, such as the battery box for the diesel starter, four separately applied diesel fuel oil tanks for the diesel reefer unit, all the separately applied brake rigging. Some of it's molded plastic, a lot of it's wire form detail pieces. Here's your brake cylinder, here's your air reservoir, and here's your triple valve, along with all of the mechanism to work the brake rods. Very nicely detailed underframe. I have another sample here that we received, and this sample has one of the uh, sound generators installed. So let's set that on the track and get a quick sample of that. Well, there you have it, everybody. A quick overview of the Santa Fe RR56 Mechanical Reefer. Order deadline for these is December 15th, so make sure you get your orders placed with your favorite dealers. Man, if only we had a locomotive to pull these cars. Oh, right, U25B, those are coming. Somebody ought to make a video about those too. Reefer video in December, what are they thinking?